See that fish caught that fish, baby? YouTube Fish and Fam, what is going on? It's your boy STFCTF, and we're bringing you another vlog. It's been a little while, and first and foremost, I want to say happy holidays. Thanksgiving's tomorrow for me. Um, hopefully, I post this quick. Should be. Love you guys. Um, but yeah, Thanksgiving's tomorrow for me, and uh, very exciting. I was able to obviously, you know, do some Black Friday shopping with all these sales and stuff that are going on. So um, I hit up the Carl's Bait and Tackle sale, and I also hit up um, Sportsman's Warehouse, and a few other places, you know. Shout out Rob Moran, by the way. Love you. And um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I met some people at Sportsman's, and they were just asking, you know, about the gear and what I use and that kind of deal. So I kind of wanted to go over what I have, and then I am also going to go over, like, what I'm purchased and what I think is a really good budgeted combo for a new angler to be able to, you know, purchase a good quality spinning rod and lose um, casting, in my opinion. You know, that, that that's what I use. You guys know that. This is all opinionated in this game. All opinionated. Kamya chachis, okay? So the first one uh, that, I, that I purchased, this is my very first rude uh, lose reel and rod so i always purchase combos they're very easy for me to use i just grab i go i'm a dad i got a lot of stuff going on work and all that stuff so the first one i got is the green mach 2 this is my very first bait caster i was very intimidated to buy one of these things and um i'm glad that i i did my uncle essentially talk me into it um i'm very glad because i love these i love the bait caster it's a great thing I still love using my my spinning rods but um that's what i got here so this is the mach 2 speed spool um this is a seven foot medium heavy fast taper action so that's what this guy is me personally again i always throw braided line because i hate losing fish and i seem to lose a lot less fish with braided line and it doesn't seem to have me catch less fish again in my opinion i think this is 25 or 30 pound braid and i'm testing out the this bass pro extreme braid stuff that was on sales like two spools for 10 bucks I know why. I don't really get backlash, but it's very wiry. Not my, not my liking. So that's my first one, the green pole. It's very nice. That's upside down. But um, yeah, I guess I should. That's the problem though. The garage isn't big, big enough. So boom, right there. Can you guys see that? Beautiful rail. It is, it is, you know, it's nice. It's very nice rod. Very nice rail. Chicken nuggets. What are you going to do about it? So that's what we got. Oh, here, let me, let me show you the back end here. If you guys can see that. Wait, that's not it. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this. I can't do it, the garage is too messed up. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna have to read it. You're gonna have to take my word for it. YouTube Fish and Fam, take my word for it. However, thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like, I love you guys. I got a little goodies to talk about at the end too um, that I'm gonna do for each and every one of you. Um, I just don't know how long it's going to take for them to get here. So, if you're new to the channel, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. If you're an original STFer, then I love you too. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching another fishing vlog. It's been a while. I really don't do these much anymore because, to be honest, you guys didn't seem very interested. So, I just kept it to my montages. Um, that's what you guys seem to like. You guys have been killing it, by the way, with that. So, moving on, we got... Um, this was my, my second bait caster, actually, the custom black. So, um, that's what this bad boy looks like. Very, very sexy. The custom black casting rod combo by a lose. Now this is a seven, three medium heavy fast. Um, I usually use my spook and my rattle trap on this one only braided line, 30 pound catching fish can't say donkeys because we all know I don't catch donkeys so um I don't catch donkeys so let's see here so my wife's pole what I got here and again she just uses this for all kinds of stuff we got a little bit of a combo and again this is my first little combo I've put together and it's not done because the the reel is not busted but it doesn't like braided lines so I'm gonna take this stuff off and I'm gonna give it away to a person that is in need of one of these that I know because this one was given me given to me again by shout out Rob Moran most that's the like the best guy ever 
not only is he just super genuine and, and, and beautiful, but he, oh man, I can go on for days about Rob, but um, anyways, this guy right here. So what we got is an SLX Shimano um, rod that I purchased for my wife to, to go with this reel because I like my stuff to match since everything lose matches. I, I you know, kind of like that. Um, so this bad boy, let me see here. I really don't even know the rating. I, I hardly use it. It does catch fish. I caught a fish the other day on it. Um, so this is a seven foot uh, power pro rating, 50, blah, 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 blah. Medium heavy as well, fast. So seven medium heavy um, with the, uh, the speed spool laser. And I think this comes on like the combo that's like 50 bucks. So not very expensive or anything like that, but I could do like this and it's just spinning and spinning. Look, 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 see? So the drag's messed up only when it comes to braided line. Cause when Rob gave me this reel and it had monofilament or fluorocarbon, it did not do that. I was tugging hella bad. Both of us were actually. And um, it was it was not tugging, it was doing good. So I think that's the problem, but I'm gonna give this away. So to an STF CTF or and dear friend of mine, he'll find out um, Christmas or earlier. Cause you know, like, I mean, who actually, like for right now, this stuff technically should be Christmas stuff. I'm pretty sure according to my wife. But I'm using this stuff like right now. I don't care. Mm -mm. I ain't waiting until Christmas. I got it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to my spinning rod, I just purchased this one again. This one just came out and I love it. Beautiful, very sensitive. And that's going to be the custom black, the loose custom black um, spinning rod. And uh, very beautiful, very light. You can fill everything with this little back ring right here. So I do like doing that. This is my little Tokyo shimmer rig that I use, dude. You like that? Like that little invention there? Maybe you guys used that before. I don't know. I think it's cool. I've never seen anyone do that. Now, I am going to have to send this in for warranty because it is it is my fault, but this thing's only a couple months old, but it is my fault. But the little eyelids are, are like, they're starting to stress crack right here, but that's because I think I caught it and like popped the eyelid, unfortunately. Sorry, Luz, but you guys are great. You guys always hook me up. But yeah, so this bad boy is the team, uh, the team's custom black speed stick. Um, this is going to be a seven medium power fast. So, um, yeah, this thing is beautiful. I think, what is the ratio on this bad boy? So this is a six to one. And I think this is a 10 or 11, 10 bearing system. And let me tell you, dude, like smooth. I love the grip on this thing. I love that these things right here, this doesn't break. I usually break these for some reason on um, my spinning rods because when I set the hook, I'm an idiot or, or whatever. Maybe it's not me. Maybe everyone does it. But this one has never broken. I've replaced them before on my other ones. So, yeah, that's that's what's going on there. If you guys watched my last video, how to lose a fishing pool in 30 seconds, you'll know that I no longer have the original lose green mock one. Um, I don't have it. It's gone. I casted. I caught the cast with my pole to the other pole and it went in the lake and I couldn't get it in time but I accidentally dropped my other pole and then I got it back and it was just a crazy situation. Now this is Frankenstein now because this is the one that I lost but found in the lake when I lost the other pole, the green one. So this bad boy, thank God I didn't because this is, um, you know, pricier. That one was only like 80 bucks when it first came out. This bad boy it was like 160, 150, 180, something like that. You guys can look it up. Um, this is the Mach Crush. So this is the Mach Crush spinning rod combo. Again, very beautiful, very elegant. Now this bad boy is a um, also a 10, 11 bearing system. Um, I don't remember the gear ratio, dude. And I've used this thing so much, I don't even think it's on here anymore. Let me see here, line capacity. Oh yeah, 621. So we're good there. Now, again, very good on, on this, but I have broken this before where this little shelling cracks and then this guy jiggles. So um, I've made adjustments to the newest one that they sent me because they just send me new ones without, they, dude, lose is awesome. Best customer service for sure, dude. Like best customer service. Now this pole here, I've broken three times. Um, one, my fault. Two, I don't know what happened. They just sent me new ones. And then Rob Moran again at, at um, Sportsman's also is just giving me a new one and took care of it with Lose himself. So that was beautiful of him. Um, I mean, I had to pay him $1 million, uh, but it was cool. I didn't have to do it. So you love this roll, uh, love this reel and rod combo spinning rod. Now this bad boy, this is a 6'9 medium light. And I think that's why I kept breaking a medium light. Now I like to throw my crankbait with this bad boy, with this, with this particular pole. I don't, I don't know. I just, it feels good. 
So I throw my crankbaits with this thing, and then um, that's really all I use this for is crankbait. I really don't put anything else on this no more. I have so many poles now, kind of, that, yeah. So there you have it, the orangey, the crush, used up. Sorry, love it. So again, that's what I originally have. That's my stuff. Now, adding two weekend warriors to uh, the bunch here, and um, I'm just going to jump kind of right into it. I'm going to start off with the spinning rod because I lost one, so I had to purchase another one. And then while I was at it, I might as well have got another baitcaster combo. So I did that. And this, in my opinion, like if I were to re restart from the beginning with a baitcaster and a spinning rod and excuse me, doing my information and stuff on Google and looking into it. This is what I think technically, in my opinion, would be the most affordable and the best options for newest anglers trying to learn how to use a bait caster. I already know how to use a spinning rod, but want something reliable or just with a good warranty because fishermen, you guys know stuff happens. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you the spinning rod. Bamboozle. So this bad boy right here, this is the Lose Mock Smash Combo. Now these are brand spanking new. I just picked them up. Shout out to your boy again, Rob Moran, for hooking it up. And uh, let me take this off and read it to you guys. This thing is beautiful. I mean, the, the color on this guy, it, I mean, come on, dude. Look at that. The red and the black, though. The red and the black, though. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm just going to hold this. Let me see what we got. Let me see what we got here. So it's an eight bearing system. Takes up to 145, 10 pound line. Yeah, like we're going to follow that. Um, let's see here. Eight bearing system. Yep. 621 high speed skeleton rotor. Zero reverse speed gears, combat grip, blah, 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 blah. Stainless steel eyelids. So... Uh, this bad boy right here is a seven foot medium action, so medium power, fast. And it's an IM6 series, IM6. Now, my last IM6 was good. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it went into the lake. So I'm excited to see what their new stuff is. And again, why I say this is affordable, reliable, you're gonna be able to finesse. I mean, that is nice, boy. That is nice. Look at that. Look at that. This is going to be kind of a long video. Look at that. So, yeah. Beautiful. I can't wait to test this out. I'm probably going to go tomorrow in the morning. I'm going to throw probably a crankbait on this and see uh, how it does with that. But, um, yeah, the red and the black is beautiful. This is the Mock Smash New. On the market. Fresh. You could pick this thing up for 80 bucks for the combo, dude. Cheap. That's what I'm saying. Inexpensive. Again, being a dad with three kids, wife, stay at home. Nonetheless, homeschool. Costco card. Okay. This is this is the one. This is what I would re restart with. Instead of the Flukers and the Heroes that I did, I would get this. If you can find it, you can right now. Again, um, Sportsman's is the only place I can find this damn thing at. 80 bucks for the combo with two warranties. One from Lou's and one from Sportsman's. And that, that's beautiful. So the second one, obviously, I mean, we're talking about it. I picked up the Smash Baitcaster combo. Okay. So that is sexy as well. The black and red widow. This is going to be a killer, dude. Now, I um, am a little worried about the reel as the reason why I say that is um, it's the same as that other one. It's the same as that other one, but it does seem built a little bit better. I took it apart a little bit and I've been messing with it, but this is an eight bearing system, 751. As far as the features of this bad, this is only a 610, medium heavy, fast. Now I plan on using a jerk bait with this bad boy. I plan on jerk, jerk, jerking it out with the black widow. Ooh, ooh, that's all I got. So um, I'm excited. I still got to spool these things. And um, yeah, man, so this is cool. This is freaking awesome. Very, very, again, sexy. I mean, you don't get, I mean, sexy, man. Look at that. That black and that, that red is just so nice. Again, the Mox Smash bait casting combo. Dude, let me just move this camera or something, dude. Let me see if that's just better like that. Yeah, see, that looks. Look at that. I don't even know. 
I don't know what to say. This thing is just freaking gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So, these are the two new Weekend Warriors to the Arsenal. This is what I'm using. Um, yeah. I can't wait. This is going to be cool. So, super excited for that. And, um, stay tuned, man. I can't wait to take my first cap. So, I got to get some wine. Now, because they are... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, why do I say this is a budget-friendly? 120 bucks. 120 bucks. Come on. You guys got 120 for the rod and the reel? Like, people are always, I see it all the time. People are always asking, what should I get for 200, this, that, and the other? Get two of them for 200. Like, you're catching fish. That's the point. Like, don't get me wrong. These other ones are great and they're more expensive, but I already, I, I can feel it. These are going to do just fine and they're going to be great and I'm going to catch launches and I'm going to go to Mojave and rub it in everybody's faces. So, the red and the blacks. Very sexy. I love it. I cannot wait to try these guys out this weekend and um, get on the water. It's going to be cold and stuff, but I don't care. I'm going. Now, with my Carl's, I got some gifts for friends and I got some gifts for me. And again, this is the Black Friday special that Carl's Bait and Tackle has been happening. So I'm going to review the Relu's rods and I'm going to go over and review what I purchased off of Carl's. Um, that I thought were would be a good deal, and they ended up being pretty good. Um, so we'll just kind of see what we got here. So that's my box. I did have to slightly go through these already just to see because Carl's didn't send it the way that I thought that they were that they were going to send it. Um, they had really cool pictures. Now all of these are going to be kits or mystery boxes, and they had really really cool pictures of like you know that that i thought the box would come one come in and so that's why i did it that way and I, or purchased them real realistically it was eye candy i didn't know what came in these things but it was eye candy the way carl's perceives it and it only came in this crappy old box i thought it was going to be cool it's not i'm mad which one is this one i wrote on all of them i thought i guess not i'll just keep that right here i think this one was for my dad yeah so I got a bunch of stuff, dude. That one, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Drop it. I don't want that one. That one's good for me. That one. Mm -hmm. Those two bad boys. Sorry that I'm like organizing this in a sense right now. Um, I hope that's not what it is. This one should be what? The B for Brady. Oh no. So I got Brady Chris. Yeah. Uncle. I'm assuming this is gonna be Walt. Walt, this is yours. Walter, this one's yours. I'm pretty sure. So I ordered a few different things, as you can see, and what I did was I ordered just things that uh, I wanted to try, and it being the season and getting into rolling down into a uh, bed fishing season. Um I wanted to kind of be prepared. So now what I realistically need to do is uh, figure out how to fit all this stuff in my boat. So let's go over it. The first one that I purchased, now this is going to be Carl's uh, Black Friday special. Again, this was the jerk bait um, kit, whatever. Really cool picture, but it just came in a regular box and it didn't even, like it, it didn't even tell you. That's why I had to open the boxes, which I was upset about because I wanted to do like a straight up on camera seeing what's in it, but I couldn't. Because I had to figure out what was what because I have gifts for other people and I can't ruin that. Um, they got completely different stuff than what I got 100%. So um, this was like turned out to be 25 or 28 bucks. Look online. But let's see what, what comes in it. So this is the, I think the jerk bait. Yeah, so this is the jerk bait one. Um, I don't know why they put a hat of Texas rig and the jerk bait combo thing. But let's check out these baits. So we got, boom. A Guggen jerkbait, the Scout. So this is what you're purchasing for like 28 bucks, and this is supposed to be on sale. So you're getting a uh, Yozuri 3DB Prism Wave Motion Minnow. Now, the reason why I say this is what you're getting is because realistically you may get a different color, but this is what you're getting because there are some duplicates on some other stuff that I got, and all of it is the same. 
little upset about that. But this is the first time that Carl's delivered on time. Um, you're giving, you're getting this guy, the dying jerker. So it's like a two piecer, not bad. And then you are gonna get the uh, the Smithwick suspending jerk bait. Now all these are freaking sexy though. I will say that. I will say that. I was very excited when I did have to open this stuff and see what it is. So four jerk baits for twenty, basically twenty five bucks. You know how much jerk baits can cost. Some of them are twenty five bucks for like those X wraps and those crazy shits. So long video we're doing. Might as well make it right. Got a swim bait kit. This is a swim bait mystery kit or just a swim bait kit to get ready and go. And again, for new anglers, this would also be, you know, a good way to start your tackle. I mean, you figure 200 bucks for the poles plus tax, and then you spend $25 a pop on, you know, things like this, and you're, you're set up. You got all your different kinds of tackle you're going to need for different situations while you're out there on the water. Um, so let's check out the swim bait kit. So with the swim bait kit, it came with um, a hybrid underswim. So it came with your, you know, your hook or whatever you're going to need there. So I don't have any of these, so I'm glad that I purchased this stuff. I don't really have, really use swim baits too much. And then you get a couple little swim bait heads. You're gonna get some Kytex, which are nice because Kytex are always nice. And those are little guys, which is great for Mojave and, and meat out here. This is kind of what the shad are right now um, that we're chasing. And boom, you get some yums, some money minnows. Throw that on a old, uh, whatchamacallit, well, I guess an umbrella rig, right? You use those on, a, I mean, you can use them however you want, but. Um, you're going to get some swimmers, 10 time tough four inch swim baits. These are like some ultra red, violet, purple, something beautiful though. I like them. I will say that I, I like them. That looks good. I mean, these, these ones are sexy. I can't wait to throw these. These are the exo swim four inches, but the color is beautiful. So check out the front of this green and then you turn it and it's just got that minnow underbelly, like super sexy. So boom, that's one two, three, four, and some stuff to go with it. And of course you get stickers, how to fish the paddle tail swim baits. So it tells you how to fish it, how to use it. Again, new anglers, look into this stuff, man. I usually don't rep the Carl's cause I don't really have a good experience with shipping. It's always the shipping that is messed up. This time they did great. And I'm very happy with the stuff that I've been getting for my purchase. I think it was 20 or 25 bucks. Come on. I got a flipping kit. We're getting to that season. Let's see what we got in the Carl's flipping kit. This is all Carl's stuff. Now I think everyone did come with one of these. So it actually gives you what it comes with and how much it's worth. So you know, so you know your value. So this is the flipping kit. I don't know where the, the, the papers for that stuff went. Couldn't tell you. So I got a catch crow crawl saw, game changing lures, trash master, uh, jig, uh, catch co flipping jig, bio spawn vile bugs and then big o's game changer lure eliminators so let's check it out so boom i think this is what the catch go flipping jig so i can always use some more jigs i don't use jigs often even though i should trash master i've heard good things about this i've seen you know those fools catching fish on this um who used this the most that I, I i remember i could be wrong but i think it's that sp fishing guy who was using that a lot and then uh millican he was just, um, these look pretty cool. I've seen these guys use this again. Again, the vile bugs. Shout out to Carl's Bait and Tackle. First time impressing me. Sponsor me. Hook me up, man. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. This is on a dad. This is on a on a dad salary. Help me out. And then we got some uh, these these saw crawls. Now these look sexy. I, I'm pretty excited to use these. I think they'll do good. I'm gonna wait till like betting season to use them though, because I got so much stuff. I don't even know where I'm gonna put all this gear. I'll probably just keep it in these boxes until I really need it or like do challenges, only fish out of these boxes for that day. Um, and then you get some eliminators, they, uh, they're like guppies or minnows or whatever you want to call them, frogs. These things are, I don't know. Um, some of you guys might be like, dude, that's like the, the greatest thing since sliced bread. I ain't never fished with nothing like that. Usually when I ain't fish with it, I'm like a little less attracted. That's the fishing kit, I think again, or flipping kit, kit, excuse me. and um. 20 to whatever dollars, yeah, 20 to whatever dollars. I don't even remember, 20 to 25. I'm just gonna say 20 to 25. Now, um, I got another one, another kit that they had on sale was the Drop Shot Wacky Worm Kit. So, Wacky Drop Shot Kit, obviously, I don't, I don't have any Drop Shot gear at all. I usually mix shift it, or I set up random things like that Tokyo Rig, which is kind of like a Drop Shot, just closer to the bottom. But boom, this is what we're getting. 
wacky drop shot kit. So we're gonna get Spile Spawn Sticks, 10,000 Fish, Shimmer Shad, which I love the, the 10,000 Fish stuff. Sticky, uh, so you get some hooks. Um, Lucky John Wacky Hannah Stick, and then the uh, MTB Drop Shot Weight Lid. So, Hannah Sticks, these little guys. Little, little Lucky Johns, little Lucky Mister. Cool little guy like that. And then we got some hooks. So we got a one and two aughts. They're gonna hook you up with these bad boys. And these come in packs of what, like two or three? Oh, it comes in packs of a lot. So there's just a lot in here, guys. That's worth it. You know how much stupid hooks be coming for. Um, I don't see. I don't have any of these either. I have none of these. So drop shot weights. I'm excited about that. I don't know why this camera just turned off. Um, and then the, we got the, again the Shimmer Shad. I love 10,000 Fish. This brand is great. They make very durable stuff. I love it. So I'm, I'm excited to drop shot with that. And we got the sticks. Exo stick. Boom. And by the way, I am trying out my new GoPro 8. So let me know in the comments below if like the picture is better and stuff. That was the whole point, right? Um, so I got a GoPro 8. I got a GoPro Max. We're going to try to use this. Now the GoPro Max, I'm still trying to come up with ideas on how to use it because I should have did a little bit more research. To be honest, as it's like a straight action vlogging camera, I'm not sure how I'm gonna utilize it the best to my ability on a boat. But anyway, this is the drop shot, 20 to 25 bucks. Maybe it was eight, even 18 bucks, I don't know. But that's what you're gonna get. I think it's a great value. Again, if you got $300 to spend and you're a new angler, two poles, you just freaking filled up a tackle box. Why not? Oh, and we're not done. This guy was only like 15 bucks. This is the power fishing kit which I was very upset about, but I guess this stuff is pretty good for what um, you purchase, because I think it was like maybe $15 or 10 bucks. Power fishing kit, you get three. Now I purchased, because it was cheap, I purchased like four of these. So nobody knows what they're gonna get, but who's gonna get it, because it'll be wrapped up. I'm gonna use it for like Secret Santa. But you get a spinnerbait, Catchco spinnerbait. I don't use spinnerbaits at all. Don't work for me, sorry, trash. Um, I will use these, dude, and this one looks sexy, but this is the Max Lure Square Bill. Sexy. And then this guy looks good. This is a, a Lucky Lucky Craft USA. Now, this guy looks sexy. This is worth it right here. That looks good. I think that's the $12 one. Yeah, that's definitely the $12 crankbait freaking. That's, that's going to catch fish. That's going to catch me a fish. I'm going to throw... I'm probably gonna throw that tomorrow. I'm going fishing on Thanksgiving, I don't care. Um, I'm not taking the boat, I'm gonna go shore fishing. To be honest, I think I'm gonna break the law just a little bit and fish off the dock, ain't nobody gonna be out there. I'm gonna fish from like three in the morning to six in the morning and then come home. Boom, dude. So that's like what you can build with a, I don't know, what? We'll just say a 25, so 125 bucks. 130 bucks you could build a freaking entire tackle box out of Carl's Black Friday stuff right now um, Now the big ones I purchased only one. Uh, I actually purchased two um, So I'm excited these things Definitely worth it in my opinion. So what happened was I was gonna get a bunch of Mondo kits for friends and stuff the Guggen Mondo kits Come on everybody's buying those they are great great gift stuck in stock stuff uh, stocking stuff or whatever you want to call it but instead i got the they, they ran out at that time so i purchased the guggen 100 dollar mystery things or or whatever it is the the guggen mystery things i don't think it was 100 bucks i could be lying well let's open this bad boy let's open this bad boy again it's just gonna come the box look cooler online man the boxes look cooler online but you definitely get what you pay for so again you're gonna get obviously a guggen sticker okay you're gonna get yourself some of the juice casting jigs okay so that's one right there that's a half ounce you get two half ounces boom shaka boom laka you're gonna get yourself some hammer hooks so then three aughts you know what i'm saying for the texas that's a five pack and obviously they're very very serious about it this is a game changer read that right there it says it. game changer so it better change the game i'm fishing with it you're gonna get yourself a pack of line a fluorocarbon 17 which beautiful I needed to spool these poles now again I usually use braid but we might as well test this uh, this stuff out put it on these 
And I wasn't going to go higher than like 15, but at 17 fluorocarbon, we should be all right. So you're going to get that. Get yourself a cool little face shield. You're going to get a spinner bait. You're going to get a zinger. I don't use them, but we will try these because I've, I don't know, man. Why does their stuff seem to work? Like, in a sense, not so good, but why does their stuff seem to work? Do they change certain things that we just don't even understand? You're going to get some crawls, obviously. So you're going to get some of them or, or some kind of plastic, I'm assuming. All right, you're going to get a recon. This is a fatty daddy, too. This is 8 to 12 foot. 8 to 12 foot depth. So we'll get one of these. Sexy. And you're going to get another one square bill. These are really big for square bills. Only going to eight. This is three to seven. That's a really big bait. That is a really big bait. You're going to catch a, a big fish with that. And they hook it up. So you get everything you need with, with just this. You get line. You get jigs. You get the frog. Like you're getting the frog. We're going to eat it. So you get a frog. I don't have any frogs. This is my first frog ever. I use spooks. I'm a spook guy. So you get crankbait, shallow deep. You're going to get yourself a pack of line. You're going to get yourself some freaking soft plastics. You're going to throw yourself a little willow bladed there. You're going to toss a little jigs and some rocks and hoppity skip, skip, skippity scop. And if you need to slow it down, they give you the hooks for a weightless drop with the Guggen um, thing because that thing's heavy already. That would be perfect. You don't even need a weight. And if it's hot out or something, maybe even cold. Boom, you're gonna be, go ahead and be able to cool yourself down with this bad boy or whatever this is. And on top of that, you can spool your reel right there. That's, there you have it. I'm getting a phone call right now, dude. What's up with that, bro? Come on, man, ain't nobody got time for that. What do you think this is? So sorry, STFC TF, so sorry. So, aside from that, I got another one, I got two. I didn't know they were going to come with lime, but I'm very excited because I needed it because I got poles. So let's see if this comes with anything different. I did not open this one. So again, we get a thick jig because I didn't pack it this good. No way. You're getting your, uh, your sun, your face visor, fluorocarbon again, 17. So they mimicked. So I will also say, so this is different, different, uh, colored, um, Spinner bait again, the zinger. I will say though, because I had issues with the shipping from Carl's so much, I did do like next day delivery for the extra 10 bucks. And um, yeah, maybe that's why it's all the same and they had to rush it. Maybe it just comes like that, but you're getting another two, two thick jigs. I wish they would have given me different colors. Oh, that's different. This is a three eighths. This is a half ounce. They messed up and put two half ounces in this one. So they were supposed to give me a three ace. I see what happened there. Um, again, you're going to get some crawls and the same three aught hooks. So you're, you're paired up there. What color did frog? Same color frog, the hook, same color frog. I'm cool with that, the filthy frog. And then um, same colored swim baits as well, or um, crank baits. So we got the deep, eight to 12. And we got the shallow, three to seven. Not bad, dude. Cool. This is cool, man. This is a huge blessing. Huge freaking blessing, man. Look at all this stuff, dude. Yeah, just, just bless. Thank you, God, for all this, man. Now, these are all of the boxes that I realistically don't know what's in, except for one, because this is a Guggen kit. So all this stuff is for friends and family. There's five more boxes right there. I know we got a big boy. I have no idea what's in these because these are the, the Carl's mystery kits and I didn't have to open them because I already knew what was in the other ones and I limited those two out to the friends that I'm going to be giving them. So, Mr. Chris Brady, my homie Chris, my homie Cole, these are for you. You let me know if you want them now or if you want them during Christmas. That's on you guys. That is on you. STFCTF, this was the, the holiday blessing. I was able, you know, holiday blessing. Thank you, God. Thank you, my wife. Thank you, you guys, for the support and all the love. Um, you know, hopefully I become a YouTuber one day. I would really like that. Hate working at the dealership, but not really. Does, you know. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. Um, 
you guys are the magic, dude. You make you make everything happen one click at a time. And if you were to like just every one of my videos that I watch, or if I were to get likes on all of my videos, as many views as I do watches or what have you, I mean, dude, this would be a no-brainer. I'd, I'd blow up. So with the support and the help of you guys from the bottom of my heart, that would mean a lot. Um, like every video. If you can, take a little bit of extra time and comment. And I, I would appreciate that. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these. Um, the little goodies that I have for you guys is I'm making wristbands and if you're a sub If you're already subbed to the channel, I need you guys to start hitting me up on my Instagram. That's in the link below um, There's a link below for it DM me I need your address and your name so I can send you them and I'm gonna give everybody a personal thank you and a wristband um, You know for for just supporting me so you know what I'm saying? I love you guys. I appreciate it. I enjoy doing this very much. Um, I can't wait to get back on the water tomorrow. See if these guys come up to their expectation. Excuse me, expectations in my mind. But again, you guys are the magic. You make my dreams come true one click at a time. YouTube fishing fan, just stay tuned. Bear with me. I promise I'll get better. And uh, this is for you guys. It's for my family. For me and a blessing from God. So again, thank you guys very much. I love you, and until next time, catch you on the water.